Hello there, this is Dave Allen from Max Equations. Today I want to have a look at screen flow. So let's first of all go to the insert and we're going to click on choose. We're going to go to the pictures folder first of all and we're going to choose something from here, gradient background blue and click on open. So we have that in our timeline now and doesn't that look marvellous. Now what we want to do next is to insert some voice clips. So let's go and click on the insert and click on the speech clip and then to some text that we'd like to be converted into speech and we're going to use the voice Emily. So let's uh, put in this text and click on insert. So it works pretty quickly there, which is kind of nice. And now if I press play, you're going to be regaled with the voice of Emily. You want maximum coverage for your ebook? So I would say all of them, but it really depends on the book. If it is mostly text, then the standard EPUB format you get out. So that's quite a good way of getting some text in there. And it's good if you don't want to inflict your voice upon the world and you'd rather have Emily talk for you. Now, I'm going to uh, complain about this. Maybe the people at Telestream will be watching this, but see this thing here, look. This great big sort of uh, icon at the start of the clip, that is really annoying that is because I can't see what's underneath it until I put the playhead on top of it, look. So if they could change that, that would be absolutely marvellous because it really annoys me that does. Okay, so let's put an annotations clip in there. Let's go to our annotations and click on add annotations and I'm going to draw a rectangle. And that's come in as a filled rectangle. And I've only managed to get that as a filled rectangle because before what was happening as I was clicking on it and I was just getting a rectangle that was like that. And it didn't matter what I did to it, it would not fill. So I managed to do some twiddling and fiddling with it until I got the rectangle going in there just as I wanted it to. Let's go back to this here again. And now that I've set this as a default, it's working okay for me. If you are getting it coming in like this and the rectangle is not filling in the center of it, just have a fiddle with it for a bit and then um, when you've got it right, click on make settings as a default and after that you're going to be able to have your annotations clip with the rectangles coming in just as you want it to.